so we are going to install ITOP uh, 2.6 on Ubuntu 16.4 LTS version. Uh, if you can see the official installation documentation here, it says that we recommend to use virtual machine running Debian 9 or Ubuntu 16.4 LTS or long time service version. So we are going to install um, uh, ITOP uh, latest on Ubuntu 16.4 and we are going to follow the uh, official documentation for installation here you can see the uh, required steps here mentioned and here also we have some recommended uh, configuration the php mysql parameters php parameters uh, it mentions here if you see the um, options here mentioned uh, these options are self explanatory here these are the required options and these are the php options and if you scroll down we can see that uh, mysql recommendation and php recommendation here so and some other recommendation here also it mentions so i have summarized all the settings um, um, uh, to follow step by step uh, i have mentioned all the required steps at my website so i have um, mentioned as some uh, steps so step one to step five uh, if we follow um, step by step then we can uh, successfully install the uh, latest ITOP on uh, Ubuntu 16.4. So uh, let's get started. So let's see uh, our uh, operating system version. It is 16.4. So let's update the packages let's start installing I'm just following the guideline as it is. So now the third line. These are the required steps. So all the required packages been installed now we have to go to the step two set programmatic parameter on php dot ini so let's go to the etc php 7.0 cd apache 2 here the php dot ini we have to set all the options the required options here for ease of work i have split at the window so let's search file uploads file upload on already then upload max file size let's say 20 max execution time search max execution max execution time 30 let's make it 300 memory limit two five six post max size Thirty two M Max input time ninety Max input bars 
is not set so we have to comment out and set it to 5000 and date dot time zone time zone not set let's make it Asia Dhaka you can set your time zone so we are finished here so after configuring uh, PHP Dynamo we should restart our Apache server now let's install the MySQL server set MySQL password this is root password you have to set the password carefully okay so let's start the MySQL server let's log in as root now execute the SQL statements mentioned here we are creating the user with a sample password sorry if we copy paste here we have to fix the port now it is okay we have to fix the code here too I guess because it is changing we have to make it single code it look like it changed to comma okay now flash privilege and white okay so we are done with mysql server we have to change some setting we have to change mysql configuration you see mysql mysql of the d mysql d dot cm here we have max allowed packet 16m we have change it to 50 then we know the, the proper full size this parameter is not set here so we are setting and query cache limit query cache limit is 1m and cache size is 32m cache size 32m okay we are finished here now let's restart mysql okay now let's go to the web root for wwhtml uh, we have to remove the index now it is free so let's download the iTap 2.6 okay now one zip Job. Unzip is not installed. Okay, let's get install unzip. Okay, so let's do this again. Okay. Okay, so let's rename the web directory to 
I chop. Okay, now CH own changing the permission. and changing the permission and ownership <clears throat> now we are done at the console so let's visit this from the web so we can um, access the web server to ip or hostname i can access it by ip 51 okay now it came so all the prerequisite validation okay show details you can see everything is okay now let's click continue install new item okay I accept server localhost Login, I job, password, and now one, two, three. Everything okay? Use the existing database, I job. Next, this is our default admin password, admin user, and password is admin one, two, three. I'm setting a DMI and one, two, three. Okay, I'm installing demo or test. No, I'm installing a production instance. Okay. Okay, data center device, end user device, I don't need this. Because we will um, use this software for single organization management, uh, not for the full ITIL compliant multi organization system. So we are choosing here only the default configuration management core, next, and service management for enterprise. Uh, if you want to manage uh, multiple organization uh, separate customers um, then uh, we need to see we need to select uh, this option the service management for service provider so we are not uh, providing any service to uh, other companies so um, we are uh, selecting this option service management for enterprise because we are managing our own organization so next and we are Selecting simple ticket management, not the ITIL compliant ticket management system. Okay, so simple change, no change management. We don't need change management. Known error problem, we don't need those. Let's install. Okay, so we are done here. Okay. So this is our main backend admin panel. So we are done here. The installation part is complete. So we have uh, successfully installed the ITOP 2.6.1 on Ubuntu 16.4 LTS version. So thank you for being with me. And the next uh, series of videos will um, describe how to use the software for our organization.